The clash between headsmen and farmers is a phenomenon that has persisted for some years now. Nigeria and Ghana are two countries in West Africa that are feeling the bite. The Ghanaian ambassador to Nigeria, William Azuma, wants a revisit of the ECOWAS policy document reached 10 years ago that recommends that the various governments should provide designated grazing areas for herdsmen and their cattle in their respective countries. ECOWAS realizing the regional nature of it because of the nomadic movement uh, agreed on this arrangement to manage it, create uh, uh, what is it, uh, pastures that are like banks and then corridors through which they can move and then have a collaboration between uh, the governments of the ECOWAS member states. Uh, regrettably, this has not been uh, concretized effectively on the ground. He, however, cautioned against linking headsmen to a certain ethnic group. A certain uh, ethnic stereotype and, uh, and it can be very misleading. A headsman doesn't have to be a nomadic person. That is number one. And two, uh, the nomadic person doesn't have to be a Fulani. You want to see more of that investigative journalism to help bring out the facts. Listen to the headsman's side. I mean, listen to the farmers. Listen to the owners who are behind the scenes that are not often seen. Many of them will not want to be seen. An ECOWAS security meeting is expected to be convened on Wednesday, the 4th of May, to discuss further solutions to the crisis threatening the unity and peace of the region. Chineye Anokuru, AIT News, Abuja.